hey guys welcome back to my channel i am sydney uh, as you saw from the little intro that i did uh, i am in las vegas for ebay open um if you follow me on instagram or in, are in the facebook group you already knew that uh so got to las vegas late last night um when i landed it was 107 degrees at 11 o'clock at night so that gives you any indication it is really hot here uh, I want to thank everybody who has signed up for my Instagram and social media training uh, I've had a ton of people email me and sign up if you would like to sign up you can still do that so just send me an email I'll put it down in the description box below and I will send you over the details if that is something that you are interested in uh, learning Instagram and I'm also going to be going over uh, Facebook, things like Facebook groups and YouTube. Uh, if anybody is interested in starting a YouTube channel, uh, I'm also open to requests. If there is something that you would like to learn, I'm happy to add it to the outline. Uh, I've been working on the outline. It's pretty extensive. I'm going to go step by step, start to finish everything Instagram because that is certainly the most popular thing that people would like to learn. So we are definitely going to go step by step on Instagram uh, in terms of Poshmark and in terms of Instagram in general because you really need to know how to use Instagram in general in order for it to be effective with any sort of business marketing that you choose to do with it. So uh, again, step by step, start to finish. Uh, I'm going to be releasing videos weekly for that training. So if you would like the details, if you would like to sign up, uh, my email address is down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will respond to you. Um, but shout out to Eddie. He is uh, the hangry hanger on Instagram. He picked me up today and drove me around to some different Goodwills and I was able to find some really good stuff. Um, the Goodwills here actually do a dollar sale on Saturdays. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you today I found was a dollar. Um, if it was not a dollar, I'll tell you. Um, I did pick up some stuff that I paid up for, but um, yeah, I'm going to go through and show you guys what I found today in Las Vegas. Thrifting, this is my first time thrifting in Las Vegas, and I found a ton of good stuff for most of it was a dollar. So let's go right into the haul. First thing I wanna show you is this really cute, it's a Ralph Lauren tie. Uh, it's a silk tie, you can see the back of it. But this was a dollar and it has the cutest little fish print on it, if you can see that right there. Um, I thought this was adorable. For a dollar, um, silk and you know, ties are really good filler items to pick up. People can bundle them. And I thought this was a really, really fun print. It's not plain. It's got something on it. So, love that. Um, next is something that Eddie found is a, what's the brand? Anchor Blue. But it's super vintage. Here's the tag. Uh, but it looks like a Coogee sweater. It's got like this fake leather, leather paneling in it, which is amazing. Um, just a really cool men's sweater, super vintage, 90s looking, love the 90s, 90s is super on trend right now. Uh, next is, I think this is a skirt or a dress, it might be a dress, no it is a skirt, folds over like that. Um, just a maxi skirt, really cute print, it is the brand cabby uh, i've talked about cabby in a few of my videos now really cute print really colorful really bright maxi skirts are really popular during the summer and the warm months or if you live in a very warm climate like las vegas um next are these vintage lee jeans um these are a bigger size but they are the high-waisted um, I always look for this tab on the back. That's what people like uh, for the high-waisted, like, mom jeans. Really, really cute. Uh, these were a dollar. Super vintage. I am loving the vintage stuff lately. Um, and I really like that people 
are searching for vintage stuff and wanting to buy vintage stuff because they just don't make things like they used to. Next, I found this Lane Bryant blazer. It is a size 28, it is plus size. Just a really nice staple blazer. I love picking up things like this. Um, I talk a lot about this in my sourcing guide. Um, things that you can pick up that are going to net you a larger profit. Um, there are just certain areas of the thrift store that I thrift more than others. Um, I also have my Goodwill Outlet Guide, which will tell you about brands that I pick up like today when I found stuff for a dollar. Um, it goes through like brands that I pick up when I find them cheap that will sell consistently for you. Um, so I'll link all those down in the description box below. So you can pick that up if you would like to learn more about sourcing and what kind of brands that I buy, what kind of items I pick up. I feel like a lot of people get really in their heads where they get these ideas that certain things won't sell when actually they will. Um, so just don't get tunnel vision be open-minded when you're sourcing and go with your gut on things. That's my advice. But I'll link all my sourcing guides down below if you are interested in them. Next is, this is a brand that I love picking up um, when I can find it like at the bins or on clearance or, you know, just usually under three or four dollars. Um, but it is Gloria Vanderbilt. This is plus size. They are size 16 wide, um, but her jeans just do really well for me. Uh, they sell really consistently, um, so I do grab the Gloria Vanderbilt. It is a Kohl's brand. Uh, Kohl's brands are super popular, and people like them, so definitely pick up the Gloria Vanderbilt, especially when I find it um, in the bigger sizes. People... People have certain styles and brands that they know their size in, and I feel like Gloria Vanderbilt is one of those brands. Next is another Kohl's brand that I like to pick up. It's Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez actually has some really, really cute stuff for her clothing line that she does with Kohl's. Um, it's a lot like Lauren Conrad's and things like that, but people love the Kohl's brands. They are great quality. They are just really good bread and butter item. This is just like a wrap style top, size extra large. Um, the bigger sizes do tend to sell a little bit faster. Um, but again, don't, don't find something and then say, oh, it's an extra small. It's not going to sell. Like everybody needs clothes. So just keep that in mind. Next, um, Next is another one of those things that it's not really about the brand, it's about the item. But this is by Susan Graver, and you'll notice that it is a plus size. If I can get this to focus, there we go. Uh, it's a size 1X, just a really good work top. Um, it's kind of a tank top with a little sweater that goes over it. People love looking for things like this that they can get deals on, that they can wear at work. Uh, plus sizes do really well for me. So I picked this up. It was a dollar. Um, I just thought this is a really good staple piece to have for somebody in their wardrobe who wants to do um, like finding deals on stuff to wear to the office. Next is another plus size item. Uh, it is the brand Croft and Barrow, which is another Kohl's brand. Uh, it is a 2X just a classic button-down work top you wear this to work you wear this out running errands um it's a really good staple piece to that people search for um people love things like this they won't go out of style um and they can wear them many places next is like a, it's like a sweatshirt it definitely feels like a sweatshirt dress kind of um it is by the brand fabletics focus there we go fabletics um this is kate hudson's athletic wear line uh, it is really good to pick up it's very popular um i do try to stay on the lower cost side for fabletics 
just because she's often doing promotions and things like that that make it cheaper anyway like it's not really at the price point of lululemon uh, but it is a really good popular brand to pick up next is a j crew button down love picking up j crew stuff uh this is a men's button down men are constantly looking for dress shirts and these shirts run 60 70 80 bucks uh, at j crew so i do pick them up when i find them uh j crew is really it has a very loyal following to it i used to work there and people just love j crew they are classic staple pieces that will not go off style you can always wear them like classic button down men are constantly needing dress shirts so definitely pick up the j crew when you find it next is patagonia patagonia is a great brand these are men's size 33 board shorts they have a design printed on them i think they're they look like golf tees are printed on them um really nice board shorts uh, i have another pair of board shorts listed in my closet too by patagonia next is american eagle jeans these are the favorite boyfriend style definitely stocking up on jeans because we are fixing to go into back to school shopping season so i have been trying to list more jeans uh because people are starting to shop for them we've sold quite a few pairs over the past week so definitely get your jeans listed because it is about that time next brand i was super excited to find for a dollar because these are really high-end jeans that will sell for a pretty good price point so these are adriano goldschmied these are the stevie ankle jeans uh, they have a really cute polka dot print on them and that's honestly why i went and looked at them because i people like this polka dot print as you can see um and then i saw the brand so really good brand to pick up high-end jeans i think they sell them at nordstrom uh but they retail for over 100 bucks a pair so definitely pick up this brand whenever you find it next is uh this is like a plaid flannel shirt by volcom which is like a surfer i think it's a surfer brand um these are really nice like and they're pretty pricey i think they sell these at like PacSun. um but this was a dollar just a really nice flannel warm shirt that will be good for fall and winter next i picked up this sweatshirt um, it has a really cute rose print on the front of it and then on the back of it it says find your bliss uh, but I picked it up because it is an XXL love finding the plus size clothes things like this just sell really well for me uh, I love finding you know comfy clothes athletic wear I love athletic wear next um, these were not a dollar but um, worth paying $5.99 for. They are the Not Your Daughter's Jeans. Again, they sell these at Nordstrom. They're a really good size. They're a size 12. Uh, Samantha Slim. These are kind of like a high-waisted. And also, I love the color. I think this color is really unique. Um, but I love finding this brand. They tend to sell pretty consistently. Next, also a brand I paid up for because they are athleta leggings again i love selling athleisure clothing athleisure clothing in general just does really really good on poshmark next another really good brand that i found for a dollar these are cut from the cloth uh, they're a size two just a jean bermuda short um again another higher end brand of denim that you need to be looking for next something that i got for myself that i am really really happy that i found i've been looking for these everywhere 
um, they are Steve Madden and they are these really cute platform sandals, uh, black platform sandals. I've been looking for some of these everywhere. I found some at Target that I kind of liked, but not really. Um, I absolutely love these. I'm going to try and clean up the bottoms of them a little bit with a Mr. Clean Eraser, but they are so, so cute and they are super comfortable. This last item is something that I paid up for, but I think it's going to pay off because They are Kate Spade. Uh, really cute denim slip-on sneakers, size 11, uh, which is a really good size in general to pick up. Not just in Kate Spade, but the bigger shoe sizes will do really well. Um, but they're just so cute. They've got like ruffle details on them. Comps looked really good. These are called uh, the Lily sneaker when I looked them up. I did look them up because I wasn't really sure and they were $15, so I don't really like paying that much for stuff, um, but Kate Spade usually does pretty well. Uh, so that is my haul for today. Uh, I was really excited to get to go thrifting in Vegas. I did not get to go thrifting last year when I was here, uh, but hopefully we will get in uh, some more thrift stores while I'm here so that I will be able to do some more haul videos for you guys. But this video is at 15 minutes, so I'm going to sign off and stop talking, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.